If you know video games at all, you've probably heard of Chimmy. Released in 1983 for the Cameco Vision Box, it's one of the most beloved video games of all time. But don't let the simple graphics and cute character design fool you. It's taken very seriously in the gaming community. In fact, over the past 15 years, gamers from across the world have been competing with each other to beat it as quickly as they can. To say that this quest for the Chimmy World Record is full of drama would be an understatement. Let's see how it all went down. Even though the game had been around for decades prior, the first verifiable speedruns for Chimmy come from around the mid-2000s. During this period, the world record went back and forth between three gamers, Mumo, Mimo, and Big Ass Yellowy Dildo. Only one video from this era has survived, from March 29th, 2005, when the record was set by Big Ass Yellowy Dildo. Could you just stop eating your butterscotch so close to me? I'm about to get the world record. But it's so good. Here, have some. No, just get, no, get that out of my face. Despite the low image quality and occasional interruptions, a lot can be learned from this video about the basic strategies of Chimmy speedrunning. Avoiding the holes by taking the northern route, moving diagonally to achieve purple, and the biggest revelation, circling the well to maximize top speed. So you're just going around in a circle? Won't that waste time? It makes Jimmy go faster. Jesus, butterscotch should not smell like that. Well, a lot of it fell on the floor, and then the uh, dog slept in it, but then I scooped it all back into the big, big jar, so it should be fine. That jar's not that big. Why do you always say that? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. I've seen bigger jars than this. No, the record time way. achieved by Big Ass Yellowy Dildo in this video was 19 minutes and two seconds, a time that for years seemed unbeatable, or at least that's what they thought in America. On June 9, 2008, a world record video from the Eastern European nation of Bustavia was posted on hugenewschimmyworldrecordtime.com. It was a jaw-dropping time of 17 minutes and 21 seconds from a player by the name of King Fuckhead. Okay, here it goes, final boss battle. Yeah. Oh! Oh! That is world record! That is the world record! <laughs> I did I freaking, oh, eat my nutsack. Eat my freaking nutsack, dude, because that is world record. That is world record shit, and you can eat my nutsack all freaking day. All freaking day. Yes. The celebratory response to King Fuckhead's world record time on the message boards was nothing short of ecstatic. Congratulations and praise poured in from all around the globe. With its first major world record in speedrunning, Bustavia had been put on the map, and its golden boy King Fuckhead was on top. That is, until Tootie Boy came along. Just five years after King Fuckhead's run, a player known as Tootie Boy did the unthinkable. He posted a time of 1658. With nobody having even come close to King Fuckhead 1721 for half a decade, a sub-17 minute time came as an earth-rattling shock that woke up the world. To many in the Chimmy community, this was the equivalent of not just learning that God was dead, but finding his bloody corpse on your doorstep, along with a suicide note that was just your name written over and over again. How could something like this happen? Well, Tootie Boy's historic time was thanks to one groundbreaking new strategy, known as appling. This technique lets Chimmy eat the apples that are occasionally on screen, which gives him a boost in speed. Prior to this discovery, all previous Chimmy speedrunners avoided the apples, assuming they were poisonous like in Snow White, and thus would kill Chimmy. With appling alone, Tootie Boy shaved off more than 20 seconds from King Fuckhead's time. Yes! 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 With a new groundbreaking strategy available to them, many new challengers over the next few months believed they had a chance at the record. Appling should make it easy, right? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I thought it was a... Oh, fuck! No, I thought it was an apple. It was a banana. Uh, <laughs> apples and bananas look the same to me. Wrong. Appling was a technique that even skilled gamers struggled with. Take Shit and Piss Stew, considered to be one of the best speedrunners of the modern era. This was his reaction after 1260 failed appling attempts.
Shit and Piss Stew is not technically dead, but he has been frozen in that position ever since. Apparently, he survives off of mashed up food that his stepmom throws into his mouth. That's how difficult appling is. With no speedrunners capable of mastering appling, nobody could come close to Tootie Boy's time. Tootie Boy, meanwhile, had retired from gaming to focus on starting a YouTube account for candy reviews. All right, uh, gonna give these a shot. I guess they're called um, M&Ms. Ugh, they are freaking nasty. Ugh. And so the world record time for Chimmy would stand unchallenged at 1658. That is, until Christmas morning, 2015. The speedrunning community had noticed some impressive times on Chimmy were being streamed by a gamer named Dr. Diaper Daddy. He was getting close to Tootie Boy's record, and he wasn't even appling. Oh! Let's go! Let's go! 1701! Let's go! Let's go! I'm so close to the record! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Woo! Hey, I don't really care like that. I'm not really tripping off of it. Throughout the day, he would get closer and closer to the world record, and then at 6.01 p.m. Eastern Time, right around when most families were just sitting down at the dining room table ready to have a slice of oily Christmas goose. Let's fucking go! Go! 16.55, let's fucking go! That's the world record, let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! I'm the fucking man! I'm the fucking man, the woman, the everything! I am all! I am the alpha, the omega! The Zeta, the Epsilon, the Kappa. I am everything. I am all fraternities. Let's fucking go. I don't really care like that. I don't really. It don't really bother me. It's just Dr. Diaper Daddy had done it. 1655. A full three seconds better than Tootie Boy's long-standing record. And he wasn't even circling the wells or appling. How did he pull this off? Dr. Diaper Daddy was using a strategy called just pressing the right arrow button. He had figured out that if you just press and hold down the right arrow button, you have very high odds of getting a decent time. This had actually been quietly discovered about four years prior, when an unknown person sat on a gaming controller and accidentally streamed one of the best Chimmy speedruns of all time. It was on track to potentially be a sub-15 minute time, and if she got especially lucky, maybe even sub-14.30. Michael, I think you have your game on. But if you pay careful attention to the video, you'll notice the gamer actually stands up and leaves the room, in effect releasing the right arrow button and ending the run. With a new strategy discovered, speedrunners flocked back to Chimmy in droves. New world records were being set on a daily basis, from gamers and non-gamers alike. 1640! Hooray! 1630! Yeah! That's what's up! 1607! <laughs> <laughs> Got it in 16 flat. I am so high. You did it. I did chimney in 1555. Wow. All right. 1550. I don't get it. 1542. Woo! That's a meatball. That is also a, a spicy meatball. Over a six week period at the beginning of 2016, a new Chimmy world record was set 433 times. This seemingly could have gone on forever, but it took something big to put an end to it. A return of the pride of Bastavia. Yeah, okay, so I know it has been like very long time since anyone has been seeing me uh, when, when it comes to Chimmy, but you don't even know. Freaking, freaking check this out. That freaking is one second, one second world record. No one can take it. No one's going to freaking take that from me. I am the freaking champion. You want to eat breakfast? Okay, that sounds good. Why don't you go to buffet, open lid, you want scrambled egg? It is my nut sack. It is my freaking nut sack. Because I am the number one champion now forever. Try to even come at me. You can't. That is not how it goes. Eight years after his first Chimmy World record, 33 years after the game itself was released, King Fuckhead had finally done it. He had discovered that the game was designed on a loop, so if you just went left at the beginning, it would automatically take you to the end, triggering that the game was over. It was physically impossible to improve upon this score. Others could replicate it, but King Fuckhead was first. The golden boy of Bustavia was the Chimmy World Champion once and for all. Later that night, he turned himself into the police for an undisclosed crime. 
Some say it was for the relentless murder of the Chimmy World Record. Others more confidently say it's related to a string of missing persons cases. We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching.